wanted to do a program about communication among okay. female leaders because our health minister stated that we needed more uh, female top leaders at the hospital and uh, we wanted to look into that and uh, why aren't they applying why don't they feel confident we uh, wanted to see how women communicated uh, versus men mm -hmm. and uh, made a communication uh, course for female leaders to try to communicate more precise and clearly to have more influence on decision making mm -hmm. The title of our project is uh, to enhance nurse-physician communication through using the ISBAR communication tool. The ISBAR stands for Introduction, Situation, Background, Assessment and Recommendation. Studies have shown that this communication tool improves patient safety. And we thought that this would be a great project because we have experienced several issues of miscommunication between nurses and physicians. We trained the nurses how to use the tool, how to report to physicians about patients' conditions using this tool. We had uh, around uh, 420 participants. We noticed an improvement concerning patterns of communication. We encounter patients coming to ER for their insulin use that's uh, given in the morning and in the afternoon. And it uh, sort of like overstrain the ER nurses for doing that. When I try to join that ICNLFC, I tried to bring that up. And then when I came back to eBay, I did my um, survey and find out what is the root cause. I found out that it's because of lack of supply or unstable, instability of either the insulin drug or the insulin syringes. I work with the diabetic program um, to increase the number of insulin PR. And I work with the diabetic program on training patients that are capable of doing the injection to themselves or any family member that can do it to the patient instead of a patient is scared to do it and at the end of the program i actually went down to only 20 people going to er for the insulin injection out of 100 with the start of the project. I can say the impact of the LFC program cannot be overstated. It has been very significant. There was many significant LFC projects covered the following area. Management, infection control, communication and health education. We saw that the participants, we all grew during that program. I gained the insights through participating about my leadership style and uh, collaborating with seven leaders across Lebanon was very challenging and uh, it was a great uh, learning experience. We presented at a national conference this work. We presented at the ICN Congress in Singapore. We are thinking about the national level to collaborate with the Order of Nurses in Lebanon to uh, present this work. We also are working on publishing this project as well. Nurses graduates from the school here, they are not just ready to be left alone in the world in the clinical services and people or students that are going into nursing but when they finish the graduate they end up dispersing into other department because possibly of the salary that's one sometimes there is not much support from the ministry because not all of them sometimes are being hired because of the budget constraint 
greatest challenge, I believe, is nurses' retention. We have an issue with immigration because uh, the Lebanese nurses are heavily recruited by the Gulf area, by Europe and by the United States. The nurses can be retained on both national level and institutional level. Most of the nurses with the bad working conditions in Lebanon are leaving the profession. We have to retain them. There will not be enough nurses or nurses specialists in the future. Hmm. All people can't be nurses. There will be a shortage of hmm. nurses and we will be forced to work more across professions.